AGC members build Michigan. From corporate headquarters to residence halls and high schools to hospitals, the work that AGC members perform improves our quality of life. Construction matters and the projects AGC members build continue to advance Michigan's economic well-being and showcase the best the industry has to offer. The Cotton Family Wolf Wilderness Project at the Detroit Zoo posed more than a few challenges. Scheduling, site conditions, and sensitivity to surroundings were but a few issues overcome by Di Maria. The Wolf Wilderness is the anchor exhibit used to transition an underutilized corner of the zoo into a new American grasslands area. Di Maria's attention to detail and project management skills have provided Detroit Zoo staff with the ability to study wolves for conservation benefits, something that has not been done at the zoo since the early 1980s. The habitat includes an historic log cabin featuring an observation area with expansive glass viewing windows so visitors can get nose to snout with two gray wolves in the exhibit. Di Maria's hard work revitalized two older exhibits into a vibrant two-acre sanctuary featuring grass meadows, trees, a flowing stream and pond, dens and elevated rock outcroppings. A howl of a good job. If you're a contractor, school administrator, or swimmer, you probably know what a natatorium is. Fortunately for Brighton High School, the George W. Auk Company not only knows that a natatorium is a pool building, they also know how to build one. The 42,000 square foot addition was done while the school building was in use. The existing pool was kept open, all while coordinating logistics to avoid interference with ongoing school activities. Auk to the rescue. Planning, communication, and project management contributed to this successful job. Building information modeling helped optimize the mechanical and electrical systems layout, and geopiers were utilized along with helical piers to support the existing building to accommodate the deep foundations for the pool tank. Brighton School Superintendent Gregory Gray said, Auk Construction from the top to the bottom did an outstanding job with this project, and I know because of their work and creativity that it will serve our community for many decades to come. Check this out. Brighton Area School Superintendent Greg Gray celebrated the completion of the new high school and community pool by jumping in first, fully clothed. Livingston Daily staff first suggested Gray jump in the pool, and Gray thought it would be a fun way to introduce the new pool. You know, they love it when we do stupid things, so uh, <laughs> this would just be one more of those dumb things we do to entertain people. Joining him was the girls' swim team, who were thrilled to be some of the first ones to jump in the new 12-lane pool. We immediately were like, can we come watch? Like, we at least just wanted to watch. Um, and then when we got asked to join him, our team was just ecstatic. We were so happy. The pool will be used by students and community members. It was amazing. I had seen the progression work of it. Um, and to see like the final outcome was just like, it was emotional. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is the prettiest pool I've ever seen. Like the high school. Oh, I've been into like so many high school pools. I've been into a lot of college pools. Um, and this is like by far the prettiest pool I've ever seen. I think we've done a nice job on the pool. I think it's going to be a real asset to the community long term. Two, three, four, five. <laughs> This is Abby Welsh for LivingstonDaily.com.
The Providence Park Hospital build-out project was really seven projects in one. The George Auk Company's project management skill and coordination between team players made this project work. The project's components and their scattered locations in the hospital posed major hurdles to success. But Auk's healthcare construction expertise allowed the individual project components to be accomplished in overlapping phases under the supervision of one on-site superintendent and one AUK project manager, with as many as 50 tradesmen working on the site daily. A new operating room, men's and women's surgical locker rooms, pharmacy storage expansion and renovation, sterile processing expansion and renovation, respiratory therapy renovation, post-anesthesia care unit renovation, and build-out of 32 new patient rooms, all completed ahead of schedule and under budget with over $1 million returned to the owner. The 370,000 square foot Munger Graduate Residence Hall houses 630 graduate and professional level students in an apartment style layout. The University of Michigan envisioned a setting where students from 36 different nations and 70 graduate programs could live, study and interact, a place that would spark interaction and collaboration. It does all that and more thanks to Walbridge. A precast concrete structural system was used for the entire eight-floor building. Walbridge met a modularization challenge by managing construction of 730 bathroom units at a prefab plant it created 10 miles west of campus. Using BIM provided for the streamlining of routes to lift the units into the building and wheel them through corridors still bustling with construction. Wallbridge also prefabbed and installed more than 650 modular mechanical, electrical, and plumbing racks throughout seven floors. All of this completed on time and under budget, and all in a day's work for the Wallbridge team. Aristio's work for the Ford Motor Company on the Livonia Transmission Plant refurbishment included the replacement of nearly 2 million square feet of steel fiber reinforced concrete slab on grade. Add unforeseen site conditions, underground piping issues, and low clearance of the trusses, and you've got some major challenges. But Aristio's construction, steel, and installation divisions all successfully coordinated their work to complete over 30 contracts in just 15 months. Aristio's ability to manage the work and overlap project management teams and safety personnel between divisions saved the owner money. By renovating nearly 2 million square feet of new usable plant floor space, the Aristio team helped revitalize an historic building and bring it back to a state-of-the-art transmission manufacturing facility. A job well done. Lake Trust's new 100,000 square foot corporate headquarters in Brighton is a special high performance work environment with flexible workspaces and a host of modern comforts. The Christman Company led an integrated design and construction process that was unique. All design decisions were reached through collaborative design workshops with construction and design team members and Lake Trust employees. The LEED certified building incorporates a completely open environment, anchored by a central connected gallery seating style staircase 
that bisects the three-story atrium. Best fit selection of trade contractors was utilized by Christman to select construction partners who could benefit the project by participating in a design assist capacity. Lake Trust President and CEO David Snodgrass said, you wouldn't think it was a financial institution, you would think it was Google or Facebook or some tech company. Excellent safety record, under budget, and a very satisfied owner. The Gun Lake Tribal Government Campus project included the construction of five new buildings. Geothermal energy provides over 90% of the heating and cooling for the campus buildings, and over $1 million was invested in site work for the new 44-acre complex. During the project, the Granger team identified and recommended close to $9 million in value engineering options. The team had to address nearly $4 million in change orders, resulting from design changes, unforeseen conditions, and added scope. Despite all of these challenges and working day and night for three weeks prior to dedication, Team Granger delivered an excellent project on time and with zero lost time accidents. The tribe's construction representative, Clayton Seneca, summed it up best, saying, what a great team this has been to work with. I would not hesitate recommending them to anyone, and I'm hopeful that I can work with them and Granger again in the future. Di Maria built a three-story, 62,000-square-foot addition to the C.G. Brown Laboratory on the University of Michigan's North Campus. The addition enhances the impactful research, multidisciplinary collaboration, and cutting-edge teaching done by the university's Department of Mechanical Engineering. One major challenge overcome by Di Maria was adding the addition to an existing occupied laboratory building without disrupting ongoing operations. Building information modeling was utilized to coordinate the MEP trades and lab casework. The project achieved LEED Gold certification for elements including a photovoltaic system, solar-powered water heater, and the recycling of construction waste debris off-site. Di Maria stressed safety throughout the project, employing a site-specific safety plan and customized logistical approach developed to meet the university's needs. This emphasis earned three Di Maria employees U of M safety awards during the project. Delivering a new, safer, more efficient, state-of-the-art jail complex on a busy downtown intersection within 15 feet of an occupied courthouse and within 11 feet of the existing jail is a tall order. That's where Granger Construction comes in. Granger delivered the new facility on time and under budget despite numerous challenges. While jails are not appealing or inviting buildings, one expert called this new facility the finest jail I have ever seen. One reason for Granger's success on the project was the use of dashboard reports to keep the client, community, and others fully apprised of major project milestones. The contractor also utilized prefabricated cells that were installed on the second and third floors. And despite a two-dimensional design, the contractor used building information modeling to coordinate the mechanical and electrical installation due to the large amount and tight space. Challenges met and an excellent project delivered thanks to the Granger team.
To say ENL's new company headquarters is in an interesting place is an understatement. The building is at the end of the tarmac just off the grounds of Flint's Bishop Airport. But like its location, the new headquarters is very unique. The facility had included a large airplane hangar with a two-story office building on the runway side. The building also included a two-bedroom condominium on one side. The building and property had long been vacated and for sale for years. But the location to major highways and E&L's biggest customers made it perfect for the company office. E&L did its own design and construction, converting the eyesore into a gem for its employees. Perhaps E&L's biggest challenge was working for themselves, admitting that they were the worst owner ever. But they took an old abandoned building designed for three separate functions and turned it into an excellent new company headquarters that will serve them well for years to come. The new Bay Area Water Treatment Plant delivered a long-awaited solution to 14 separate communities in Bay County. Spence Brothers' expertise helped overcome many challenges, including keeping the existing water plant operations fully functional, not disturbing a densely populated residential area on one side of the plant, and safety concerns with an elementary school directly across the street. Spence's leadership and project management helped direct the success of the more than 40 contractors that contributed to the project. They were also careful to maximize local participation, with 69% of the subcontractors from the local area. Bay County Water and Sewer Director Tom Page said, due to the outstanding capabilities and professionalism of the Spence Brothers team, the Bay Area plant will provide safe, high-quality water to customers throughout the community for the next 50 years and beyond. Gunlock Champion is uniquely familiar with the importance of mining in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. So the opportunity to work on the Eagle Mine Project was right in their wheelhouse. Gunlock's self-performed work scope included installation of concrete, masonry, structural and miscellaneous steel, pre-engineered metal buildings, conveyors, and major equipment. A fast track schedule, crowded working conditions, and more than 750 RFIs were among the contractor's challenges. Gunlock's excellence in project management helped meet the scheduling challenges, and 3D modeling played a pivotal role in overcoming tight tolerances and avoiding conflicts. The team worked six 10-hour days and Sundays to deliver the project on time for the owner. In all, Gunlock placed 7,000 cubic yards of concrete, installed 95 pieces of major process equipment, 15 conveyors, 38,000 linear feet of large bore piping, 19,000 linear feet of small bore piping, 1.5 miles of cable tray, 10 miles of conduit, and 120 miles of wire. Now that takes skill. 12 projects, thousands of hours of highly skilled labor, excellence in construction and project management, gritty determination, and hard work. Built with skill, integrity, and responsibility. The hallmarks of AGC of Michigan members. And this year's nominees for the Build Michigan Awards. <laughs>